welcome everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about the type and the order in PLLs and to begin with the type and order of PLLs is defined or the both these uh, things are defined when we are having loop filter uh, of different kinds. Okay. If we restrict ourselves to the loop filter, a simple RC loop filter which we had earlier, then the type and order are not going to change. So, basically the type and order of a PLL is mostly or it changes mostly because of the loop filter. So, here I will use the small signal model when we are talking about the order of the PLL, uh, generally it means that uh, what is the polynomial highest degree of the polynomial in the uh, transfer function. Okay. So, order is order refers to that mostly. Uh, type is something a new definition which we will look at. So, we have KPD, we have the loop filter transfer function LF of S and then we have the VCO which has transfer function KVCO over S and this is what we have. Okay. So, here is phi in and this we have phi out. Phase error positive, negative, you have V error, you have V control like this. Okay. So, the type is defined as the number of integrators in the loop. In the PLL loop, okay, and order is defined as number of poles in the loop. Okay, so. If we consider the simple PLL which we saw earlier, that particular PLL was having this is the same block diagram and let me just uh, write it. In that particular simple PLL which we have seen, our loop filter of S was equal to 1 plus S R C. Okay. Normally, I can also write this as 1 plus s tau, the time constant. Okay. So, if this is the case, the method, the way you are going to find out is first you find the loop gain of the PLL. What is the loop gain? The gain through the loop. So, technically, whenever we want to find the loop gain, what we are going to do? we will break the loop somewhere, apply a change like delta okay, and see what comes back. So, here if I break the loop here, apply delta, delta will gets multiplied by k p d, then by loop filter of s and then by k v c over s. Okay. So, the loop gain of this particular PLL is equal to k p d which is the phase error detector gain times loop filter of S into K V C O over S. Okay. I will just rewrite K P D was constant in a given state, loop filter of S was 1 plus S tau into K V C O by S. So, how many integrators are there in this particular loop? There is only one integrator, one, one integrator. When we say integrator, it is like you have a block whose input to output transfer function y of s by x of s should be some constant, uh, let us say beta. So, the constant is beta and you have a pole at 0. Okay. When you have a pole at 0, then the this particular block will 
will behave like an integrator. So, place of this, I have an integrator. You can have a constant that is not a problem. So, in our PLL loop, there is one integrator always and where does this integrator come from? This integrator comes from our voltage control oscillator where you change the frequency of the oscillator and by changing the frequency you change the phase. So, this is this integrator is inherent to our PLL block. Okay. So, one integrator is always present. Then how many poles do we have in this case? So, one pole is at s equal to 0 and other pole is at if you look at it 1 plus s tau the other pole is at minus 1 over tau it is a left half plane pole. So, there are two poles in the system and one integrator. So, this PLL will be called as type 1 it is normally written in uh, Roman okay, and order is 2. So, the PLL which we have seen is type 1 and order 2. Okay. Now, it is not always necessary that uh, your PLL as you uh, increase the order, your type should also increase not necessarily. For example, I will just take one example and uh, that let us say loop filter of S is equal to I can have 1 plus S tau 1 into 1 plus S tau 2. If I choose this loop filter and everything else in the PLL remains same, then this is going to give you a PLL the same in the previous case. Uh, the simple implementation which we have seen is type 1 and order 3 because there are 3 poles. Okay. So, you can increase the order of the PLL without increasing the type of the PLL. Okay. Another example, these are just the examples uh, that how the choice of the loop filter is going to change the type and order of the loop filter. And by the way, this type and order, they are just not the terms which uh, you will just uh, use it in passing by, but a type of the PLL decides many more things uh, about the operation of the PLL. We will see that. So, if I have let us say 1 plus s tau 1 by s tau 2, just an example. Okay. So, in this case, if you use the loop filter uh, as shown here, our loop gain of the PLL will be kpd times 1 plus s tau 1 divided by s tau 2 into kvco over s. So, now you see that in this case, you are having two integrators or two poles at zeros and two poles at zeros are behaving as two integrators also. So, a PLL with this loop gain will be type 2 and order 2. Okay. So, you see the difference between the type and order that you can change each of them, but all the PLLs which have an oscillator and PLLs will have an oscillator, you will you should be sure enough that they will be at least type 1. Type 1 order 1 is the minimum that you can have. Okay. And by the way, in this particular example, you have a 0 also at minus 1 over tau 1. Okay.